Welcome everyone to Product Is, our video series about product and services of OVH Cloud. Today we talk about MongoDB and I'm really very glad to have again Sam Sanson, our uh, product marketing manager, manager. <laughs> about a lot of products and MongoDB. Can you talk about uh, your expertise and uh, what you do on MongoDB? Uh, so first, I am, uh, as you said, uh, I'm a product marketing manager. So at OVH Cloud and uh, mainly on public cloud products. So it means a lot of products actually and uh, manage databases such as uh, MongoDB. And uh, on, on, on all our products, I, I, um, I create and I develop plans and strategies, marketing plans and strategies uh, to communicate to the market and our customers about Uh, how we can benefit from our products and features and how we can help them in the different use cases uh, to help them to implement the architecture, to answer yeah. their customers' uh, needs, to, uh, to implement uh, their application. Uh, and uh, and uh, I worked uh, during uh, an earlier decade at uh, multiple uh, um, um, consulting companies. So I helped uh, companies to migrate to the cloud and to build the architecture, the technical architecture for a long time now. And I still do it uh, at uh, OVH Cloud. And uh, recently, uh, since we are talking a lot of about big data and new architecture, yeah. uh, we launched, uh, I think uh, last year, uh, our new managed uh, MongoDB database service. Uh, and I provide uh, for, for that um, uh, really uh, a communication plan to uh, help uh, customers understand how we can, how they can use our services, how they can implement that, and uh, how uh, we can uh, help them uh, build their applications. Okay, what is MongoDB and what I can do or my startup uh, can do with it? So first, what is MongoDB? MongoDB is an open source uh, NoSQL database and to understand um, what NoSQL database can do, it's important to, 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 to do a little history on uh, databases. So um, traditionally, uh, companies were using what we call relational databases, such as, uh, such as uh, PostgreSQL and MySQL. So they are very popular and still right now very popular. They are relational databases. And with relational database, you have some constraints. You have to fit your data, to enforce your data into tables with uh, lines, uh, um, rows and columns. So you really have to uh, make them, uh, to structure your data, to make them fit into databases. So it has some assets. So you are sure that uh, all your operations are consistent, etc. Uh, it, it, it is really rela reliable. However, nowadays, with all the in the era of big data, you have a lot of data that are not structured. And uh, today, unstructured data are 80% of all data produced. So for companies, you, uh, companies cannot just say, I will just um, uh, process uh, structured data. They also have to take into account what we call unstructured data. So this is the main challenges for uh, modern applications and companies. So that's why we have NoSQL databases such as MongoDB to really um, help to collect and store uh, database um, uh, data that are not only structured data. So new, type of, new types of data mm -hmm. and uh, MongoDB can do that because it has a very flexible um, model to store data. So it is uh, based on uh, uh, JSON, uh, JSON uh, documents. So um, you just have to store uh, data into uh, JSON documents and you can uh, split them into different servers. You, you store uh, your JSON document into different servers. So it is easier for um, application to store data. You just have to store that in different documents. You can split them between okay. servers. So you, you can scale faster and you can store and retrieve your data faster. And you don't have to apply and to enforce into very um, complex uh, and intricate uh, big tables um, like uh, we used to do with, uh, with uh, relational databases. And so that's why today in the era of big data, in the era of uh, a lot of uh, data and fast data, uh, MongoDB helped companies to, uh, to collect this type of data and to create value from them with the application. That sounds amazing and I understand why it's so popular actually. Uh, can you uh, 
tell us about a few words. What is the advantage and disadvantage of uh, MongoDB? Um, so, like uh, like uh, any um, NoSQL databases, the, the first thing I would say is that uh, it allows uh, companies and startups to store a lot of data. So, uh, because it's um, it's not only structured data, it can be semi-structured or unstructured data. Uh, it is easier for companies to store a lot of data and to have a response uh, for, for that. You don't have to... To, to, to have clean data first, you can just store into documents. Uh, and it is also very, very easy uh, because it's based on documents uh, to, uh, to, to make it resilient because you can store data across multiple, multiple servers. And um, contra uh, contrary to a relational database where you have uh, big tables and relation and you cannot you know, just um, uh, um, scale uh, one part, you have to scale everything. So, It, it is very uh, complex with relational database to, to scale up or to scale down. With uh, MongoDB, with, data, with this kind of database, it is very uh, easier uh, just to, 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 to scale a part or some part you want and to be more flexible since the, 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 the scheme of this database mm -hmm. is very uh, flexible. And... MongoDB can also, uh, so MongoDB can store a lot of data. So we are talking about tera terabyte uh, and, 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 even, uh, and even more. Uh, it can do it fastly. And that's very important. It can provide performance while uh, store, uh, storing and processing a lot of data that uh, sometimes traditional databases cannot do. So you are sure that when you are using MongoDB that you can uh, perform Uh, fast on a lot of volume of data. Uh, and of course, uh, since you have a lot of data, uh, MongoDB uh, provides also uh, uh, for the, the users Uh, many features that will help them to organize uh, their data. So, for example, indexing your data, for example, uh, you can aggregating data, etc., etc. So, it also helps you, of course, uh, since you have a lot of data, to organize them to uh, retrieve after that your data very uh, easily. And uh, it, uh, it can uh, also, it, provide, uh, it provides drivers uh, to help uh, developers to, um, to store and to fetch data among different applications uh, developed, uh, developed uh, in different uh, languages, uh, C Sharp, uh, C++, Java, etc. Oh, yeah. So it really helps um, uh, developers to use MongoDB and to, to, to store, to fetch and to retrieve uh, data. And so that's all of that. You know, so regarding uh, uh, big data and the data challenges that customers are facing, the complexity of the data, uh, the velocity of the data, because it's uh, faster and faster, and the volume, because as you may know, um, it is uh, there is an estimation uh, today that uh, um, uh, during the, 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 the next year, uh, the, we will have a 40% annual growth of data. Wow. It's huge uh, and that's why uh, it's important to have um, uh, components like MongoDB to help you process the data and you know that um, today data is the first asset of companies and startups. Could you tell us uh, more about uh, or manage MongoDB? Yes, um, so uh, regarding MongoDB, what I just uh, explained you is a, a generic explanation about uh, MongoDB, the technology. However, uh, if uh, some developers want to use MongoDB, of course they can since it's open source, but they have to do everything themselves, install, configure, uh, uh, check the, the different uh, security patches, etc. Mm -hmm. But uh, for startups, since that the, the team is um, can be limited because we are talking about small a small team, mm -hmm. um, it's better for them to focus on the, the core business. So that's why it's important uh, for them to have uh, managed services that will help them to deploy in seconds uh, MongoDB clusters. And this is what we provide with our managed uh, services so that um, a startup can focus on the core business and develop 
features on that application and not on uh, the, the components uh, such as technical components such as MongoDB. So we deploy them for, for our customers, we uh, host them, uh, we uh, maintain them and we secure them and obviously uh, we uh, do the patches when necessary. So all the plumbing uh, to have, you know, the, the processing of the data, we, we, we do it. We, it's done by uh, OVH Cloud teams so that the customers can focus uh, very uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the fact to create value for their own customers. And we provide uh, them tools to help them to, 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 to build their infrastructure uh, and uh, buy uh, or manage uh, MongoDB. Simplify the life for startup. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's really uh, that that we want to do for um, the, the startup. Uh, and also, uh, we simplify their life, but we uh, add more resilience to uh, their, their technical components. So obviously, uh, they, they, they sometimes cannot see that, but we, on our different plans, we have uh, included backups. So they are uh, sure that they won't lose uh, any data in case of, uh, for example, unexpected um, uh, down uh, the the when the, the database is down. Or... Yeah, exactly. Something like that. so uh, so accident, and uh, also we uh, we make multiple copies of the data on different clusters. So we are sure that the data uh, are are safe uh, with us. Yeah, resiliency. Definitely. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Resiliency is really a important. key word here. Yeah. Yeah. And again, um, when you when you are talking about a lot of data, uh, you can uh, absorb uh, very. Uh, you can absorb uh, uh, f uh, fastly uh, a lot of data, a big volume of data. It it is also uh, for them to make sure that the data are safe and they won't lose any data uh, in in the process of making uh, uh, their applications. MongoDB is uh, available on uh, many cloud uh, service provider. Uh, what is different? What is uh, unique with OVH Cloud? Um, I would say first, uh, this is OVH Cloud philosophy to um, to give to the to our customers the full control of their data. Uh, what I, uh, I I mean by that is that um, it's not only on MongoDB, but for example, on our uh, public cloud infrastructure, we base everything on OpenStack. So uh, we uh, are compliant with any open standard infrastructure. So it what what does it mean? Uh, it means that when you are building something in OVH cloud infrastructure, you can uh, take that for any reason. You can take it and implement it in any open standard infrastructure. And this is uh, really um, a value we want to provide to our customers. Your infrastructure and data and applications uh, belong to your company, to, mm. to, to your startup, to you. And uh, we are just here to help you to achieve that. And if um, by any, uh, any, any reason you want to leave us, you are still the pro proprietary of uh, that, the owner of the data and all of that. And you can choose to do that uh, uh, any, anywhere else, uh, respecting the open, uh, open source infrastructure, which will not be the same with uh, the other cl cloud provider because you are often uh, dependent of uh, vendor lock-in features, etc. So it will be very difficult to do the reverse. Um, and uh, this is what we want to show to our customers. You are in full control of your data. And for your data, obviously, um, as a European, a European uh, trusted cloud provider, we make sure we have all the certifications for that. And we are compliant with very stringent mm -hmm. certifications. We have the ISO 27001, etc. The, the list is long. So I, will, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to bore you with all the certifications and all the seriousness of this certification. But uh, indeed, um, the security of uh, the, the data for customers is a top priority for us. And that's why we uh, put a really uh, a lot of effort to be compliant with uh, this uh, certification. And uh, uh, like uh, I, uh, I just said uh, to you, we also add resiliency. So include, you have included backup. So this is a really serious matter uh, for us to, to provide that. And uh, beside, beside that, uh, I would say that um, this, very this uh, 
we want to to be able to to help our, cu our customers according their um, development level so when they start we have different plans uh, to help them each time to grow and to develop their business and to rely on different plans of our MongoDBs uh, to, to have, for example, when they are more mature uh, on their uh, data strategy, mm -hmm. we have uh, more, how can I say, advanced features to have them that they don't have in the, the most basic plans because they don't have it, they don't need it yet. And obviously the pricing will be, um, uh, will, will fit, yeah, we'll we adjust that. And uh, with our different plans uh, today for, and for startups, um, it is really easy for them to, to deploy all that and to have uh, the, 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 the best prices uh, to, to, to implement uh, that type of uh, services. MongoDB sounds good, really good, uh, but uh, complex at the same time. Can you give us for our startup a, a last tip? Yes, I would say that uh, MongoDB is a, a, a technical component. It is um, a, a way to, 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 to answer your use case, but you don't Uh, have to choose a technology because of, because it's trendy or because it's popular. I often say to our customers, uh, what are your needs? Uh, what is the use case you want to implement? Uh, what are your fu future challenges? And uh, what are the data you are handling with? Um, what are your, your key challenges? And I think it is after this, um, uh, this reflections, uh, this thinking and uh, Uh, these plans that you will choose the technical component. So obviously uh, there is a lot of uh, um, uh, uh, the infrastructure built with uh, MongoDB, but I often say you have to choose the good, uh, the good um, uh, database uh, according your needs. So first focus on what you want to do, mm -hmm. what your team can do because we are talking about sometimes limited uh, people uh, on, on, on the team. So really, what, where do you see yourself in a few years? What do you want to do? What are your key challenges? And does MongoDB answer to that? To that? Because beyond MongoDB, we have also many databases, uh, managed databases, such as uh, Redis, M3 uh, series, etc. So It's not only about MongoDB, but it's about uh, your technical architecture, your needs, uh, what do your customers want, what you want. And after that, you choose the right databases. And if what we just said about uh, MongoDB uh, uh, speaks to you, M MongoDB is, uh, so is a good choice. But beyond that, really uh, focus on your, your, your use cases. And again, you are not obliged to choose just one uh, database. You can have money, you can have a relational database and MongoDB and other uh, 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 database. You can uh, try it. And since it's managed uh, for you by OVH Cloud, you can try uh, the different databases to see what is the best choice for you. Thank you, Sansa. Uh, it was really interesting. And uh, you, you, you can use MongoDB in your credits in the startup program. And uh, now it's time to, to have a discussion with all, one of our startups, Cux.io, and uh, to have uh, the testimony about a use case. And now we are with one of our startups. Uh, they are in the program since uh, one year, I think. Uh, we are with uh, CUX.io with uh, Camille Valkoviak. Uh, nice to meet you, Camille. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for the invitation. Can you introduce yourself, your company, in uh, what country you are? Uh, we are really interested to know about that. Sure. So um, my name is Kamil. I'm CTO uh, of CUX.io. Um, our mission is to make as easy uh, as possible uh, web analytics. Um, so whenever customer want to understand uh, why um, have this or that conversion uh, on the website, uh, then uh, our tool is uh, the answer for it. Um, it's super easy because um, after you register um, to our product, uh, you will get a tiny snippet that you have to uh, put to your website. And then we will automatically start collecting all the data about uh, user's behavior. Um, so you don't have to think uh, how to set up the tool, uh, what to send. 
how to even start with the um, analytics process because um, our goal is to guide our customer uh, by hand through this complicated world of uh, web analytics and um, yes we want to make it as easy and uh, as most understandable um, as we can okay what is your architecture? Uh, what services are you using and why? I saw that you are using uh, or manage uh, MongoDB. Can you explain why you choose this uh, NoSQL database for your infrastructure? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Uh, so mainly we are using uh, MongoDB for, for our storage uh, besides uh, other engines like Postgres or MySQL, uh, which are uh, kind of small comparing to what we are doing based on Mongo. Um, we chose Mongo because of the flexibility. Uh, this was the, the first, uh, first reason. Uh, so whenever we introduce um, new data we would like to collect, for example, uh, we, can easily, uh, we can easily achieve that with, uh, with the Mongo, uh, which at our scale would be very hard to make on um, SQL uh, databases uh, because of the, the uh, of the scheme migration and everything. Um, so that's uh, that's why uh, we uh, we decided to go with the no SQL databases. Uh, and Mongo gave us this um, kind of um, flexibility, not only in terms of of data uh, structures. But also uh, how we uh, how we work with the data, so all those uh, lookup methods and all other possibilities uh, that they are uh, known from SQL uh, engines where we can easily combine the data. So what I what I want to say is that um, the flexibility and easy to work is not only on the maintenance level but also on the development uh, level. Okay. And if, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it goes to, to our uh, infrastructure, yes, uh, we use both. Uh, we use uh, a managed infrastructure uh, where we can just uh, simply make a couple of clicks um, in the in the OVH uh, dashboard and uh, create a very quickly new uh, new setup. Uh, which is also uh, um, a high benefit to us because whenever we need um, to create some staging environment, dev environment, or whenever we want to quickly make some POCs, um, we are just in with two or three clicks. Uh, we can uh, we can introduce um, whatever um, setup we need. So uh, in terms of the size. Uh, of the uh, of the configuration of the um, location of the uh, of the storage, uh, which is also important to us, and also we maintain our um, own infrastructure, uh, our own Mongo infrastructure based on um, on virtual instances, and uh, all together right now uh, we are hitting almost a one terabyte of uh, of data stored across our um, MongoDB instances. Okay, what are your challenge uh, and why are you choosing OVH Cloud? Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, we choose OVH Cloud because uh, first it's very easy to understand the pricing to us. Um, it's it's really simple and just and uh, understandable. Second is because yeah, the order is not. Um, I mean, the the order of the of the of the points is is random. Uh, the second uh, also very important to us um, thing is OVH has located um, data centers in Europe uh, and is a European company. And because we work with uh, large enterprises, uh, also from the from the financial fields, uh, for us the data protection and data governance is really important. So, so not only uh, storing data in Europe, but also be governed and maintained by the Europe European company uh, is uh, is important to us. 
Um, the next thing is uh, support. Um, we have um, we have experience with uh, other cloud providers, uh, and uh, the level and engagement of the support we got from the OVH is. Uh, it's completely different uh, different level uh, what we know from from the other uh, other providers and completely other uh, level I mean uh, a way better level than um, that we know uh, from from elsewhere um, so yes and this is really important uh, for us to know that on the other hand uh, on the on the other side of, of the screen they are not only the bots that uh, that answers our uh, tickets but uh, the most important is that they are actually humans uh, that do react uh, very quickly that uh, doing their best to to solve our uh, problems if we have and um, many times we experienced uh, proactive um, support from from OVH um so uh, we had uh the situations when uh before we uh, we even noticed that something has happened we already have uh, a support um some more support communication that um that maybe uh, we should react or maybe we can um try to uh, go with a different uh, solutions and i really really appreciate uh this and what are your next challenge for you as a startup yeah the biggest challenges is uh th there are a lot of challenges like uh i would say that as a as a startup or early scale up uh we have challenges every day uh on the pretty much many fields uh but if we talk about tech um the big challenge is to maintain fast uh, or even rapid uh, growth uh in terms of uh data uh, we are collecting the, the amount of the data we are collecting uh, because yes as I said we are um, nearly hitting one terabyte of uh, of the data stored in uh, in Mongo. Uh, we are trying to optimize the the data structure and to um, I actually heard this on on last uh, meetup in uh, in Paris mm -hmm. uh, someone someone said that uh, about scale out concept and I really like it because um this is we uh we also notice that the companies want to track uh pretty much um everything uh, every user movement uh but at the end of the day they are not using it and uh, what we are trying to do is to implement this scale out um, methodology to um, collect as less as possible data to give you an valuable uh insights um, so yes, even though if we are uh, if we are working hard on uh, on that optimization, uh, we are still growing very fast, um, and also uh, because we are also using the object storage uh, mm -hmm. in in OVH, uh, we had more than five hundred terabytes uh, of the plain text data there. Um, so I would say it's a lot, and um, the first thing is to how to uh, manage, how to maintain uh, such a big amounts of of the data. Second is how to uh, build the correct uh, network routes uh, to you know to push this amount uh, smoothly, and then uh, how to get the insights from uh, from this amount of of the data. It's those are the, the the biggest challenges in terms of of tech. Thank you. And uh, last question: What future for your sector? What future? I think um, I'm really proud what we uh, built in CUX because uh, back uh, back then, like uh, four years when we just uh, made our first steps, we were a little bit. Unsure um, if what we are in what we invented um, is actually uh, it will be valuable for our customers or uh, or not. Uh, I mean, deep in our hearts we believe that uh, it will be valuable, uh, but because uh, many of the of the features and many I, I mean the whole approach was completely new on the market back then. Um, so we were we are unsure uh, if it's gonna hit the market or not, 
And now we see uh, that our competitors are trying to follow uh, follow our path, and this is path, and this is a very good sign to us because we already have a new ideas in uh, in our head. And um, th this was the short introduction to um, to the whole topic of uh, of the automation. So um, we have already. Um, marketing automation tools, a communication automation tools, now the whole AI uh, thing that is going on on the market that most probably will automate everything. Uh, so those are the, the expectations. Mm, but uh, regarding to our market, definitely the analytics market uh, needs automation and needs uh, to be easier for uh, for our customers, and I'm really happy um, that uh, that our competitors also see this need. Uh, what we saw a couple of years ago, and uh, they are trying to adjust um, and trying to be that they, they try to be more flexible, more understandable to the customers. Uh, because yes, because we really need uh, or the companies really need um, to understand, uh, not only see the numbers, but understand what stays behind, uh, behind the numbers. Thank you very much, Camille, for uh, these uh, answers and for uh, this interview and your time. Uh, for uh, the next Thank productives, you. see you in three months with a new products and new startup. See you. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.